just recording a bunch of videos because I'm bored. And I have my computer in here and I don't, I'm not usually on my computer at night. And it's 6.05.25 right now. Yes, I have seconds on my computer. Oh, sorry. It's been a long day. I don't have a phone, so that's why I want this. But I'll have a phone in a couple of days, so hopefully I'll record some videos on that. But anyway, this is a music groups I'm not too fond of. Next one, music groups I do like. Okay, now we're one. One Direction. Teenage girls like One Direction. I'm, I'm too old for one the And really, after he hit Rihanna, I don't really like Chris Brown. It's a woman beater. And the same with that Ray Rice guy. Even though he's a was a football player. Um. I don't like Justin Bieber. He's, as my niece would say, he sounds like a girl. And he keeps acting as stupid as one. I like to call him Justina. And I don't know why he hasn't been deported back to Canada or he belongs. Um. And what else? I like. Groups that uh, I like. Yeah. And now, when people ask me, uh, I mention that I like One Day or Bieber, I'm like, uh, I just tell them. Beaver sounds like a girl and gets in trouble and gets on my nerves. And one day I just I can't sing. I think a lot of girl groups these days auto that they, uh, they use auto tune way too much. You need to sing and not lip sync over your music. Like you know, Fifth Harmony and. One of the other groups, you know, other than Saturdays, I guess I'm not clued now in the groups I do like. Saturdays, Steps, Bewitched, S Club 7, who are getting back together next year. Spice Girls, I wish they get back together. It's better than We Are Never Getting Back Together by Taylor Swift. You know, I hope the Spice Girls do get back together again, but, you know, they have kids. All five of them have kids, I mean. They're busy with their own endeavors, you know. Victoria's fashion line and, you know, other music possibly for Mel B and Jerry and who's now engaged, so congrats to her. And Emma on the radio. I wish I could listen to it. But I know it's not music, but you know I do like listening to the radio when there's yes for the radio when there's a station I like like Radio Disney, Source Radio. You know that's why I get all these. You know I must download this song. You know I did that with um I can see clearly now and. Pretty much a lot of songs that I hear, like at Disney World, or you know, I heard them when I was in Florida a few weeks ago, and you know the beachy songs and like that because it you know, makes me want to be in Florida right now because it's freezing here. I live in the wrong state, seriously. I live in Illinois. And of course, some people have to go into a rant about this. Some people will say that I live in Chicago, which, even in my mind, apart from Florida, I do. Because I've been going there since I was like six. 
I mean, it's only two and a half hours away from here, so, you know, but it's too cold to go. And I was just there in September to check out a place that I could live in someday if they let me. They take one person a year. And I'm hoping the next couple of years, because I don't want to live in those house forever, and there's nothing here, unfortunately, and I'm bored, and my friends live in different states. You know, Phoenix, Texas, Mississippi, Minneapolis, Florida, New York. I mean, I have two that live near Chicago, but they're both busy, and one person isn't these days. It's a shame, but whatever. I. I think if I had graduated now, I probably would be living elsewhere, but to anybody who has a job, it's very lucky because my brother-in-law quit his job back in April, and apparently he has a job now, and it's November, and, you know, he has to take care of my nieces and nephew by, the, by himself, and I don't know how he does it, because my sister's been gone for three years, and... And, I don't know how it's like to take care of kids by yourself. So I kind of had to do that when I was, when they were living with me for a year. And that was stressful. And then they moved to Florida, and I miss them, and I only get to see them, like, once or twice a year. Because they live in Florida. And I got to see them when I was down there not long ago. Which was very lucky. Um, my brother in law and I had a weird relationship since my sister passed, and you know, I wish things could be better, but I don't know. And also, last year he, he hasn't sent me presents for a while, which kind of hurts. I mean, come on. My sister sent me presents, you know, when she was alive, and I've sent, I sent her stuff, and I don't know if he, so let's, the kids listen to, who are 14, going to be 10 in December, and 5, listen to those CDs of my niece, my 14 year old niece is a teenager, and she, like me, spends a lot of time on her phone, and I'm, you know, 31. I still some music on my phone, though. I only have some music on my iPad now because my phone is, oh, well, I have it right here, but it's not working, unfortunately. And it's been acting fishy for months, and I've been talking about random chiz on this thing. <laughs> Some people's videos on YouTube are longer than this, I think, when they start rambling about something. I'm going to show everybody what I have next to me besides my computer. I have my... This, which holds my music on safe space on my computer. I have my iPad. And water. I have a window that's halfway open, and probably is proof, weatherproofed against the wind, because it's cold here. I mean, even yesterday, I were out and we got weather stripping, and a lot of windows in this house are very drafty, and this one still is. And I need to duct tape it or something. Anyway, I have nail polish. The third Harry Potter book, which I'm like, you know, not far from the end of it. Uh, let's see, some flowers, which are fake. The stuff on my bed, like this necklace from Forever 21. I make it. 
some dishes, which aren't really supposed to be on my bed. Mascara and lipstick. It's flavored stuff that I put in water. It's strawberry kiwi, if you don't see that already. A pen, a uh, brow pencil. Rings, perfume, a screwdriver, because I was trying to open something last night and took forever. I had the hiccups now. Lovely. That's what I was trying to open. It has pretty nice. Hopefully soon I'll be putting up my Christmas tree in my room. It's hopefully this weekend. Next weekend's Thanksgiving weekend, which is, you know, the crazy week shopping weekend between Friday and Monday. I should went Thursday because it opens on Thanksgiving, which anybody who goes shopping on Thanksgiving, I don't know, it's like New Year's Eve, I think. It's crazy. But you do get good deals on stuff. I like that Sephora beauty thing that they have. I wish I was part of it because there's like melon things that I want from Sephora for Christmas. And my mom's just giving me money to run around through Ulta like a crazy person and kind of stack up things and I'm going to order some stuff from Sephora. And my, my uncle gives me like a hundred bucks, which I look forward to having that much money to run to Ulta and Sephora and buy stuff. Of course, like I said, Sephora is in Chicago, so I have to order it online with a gift card. I need to buy one or something. I mean, I do that with iTunes ones, and I probably need to get another couple of those, too, for more music to download. Because the last song, I was, last song I downloaded last night was American Saturday Night by Brad Paisley, the live version. And I, I kind of like that better than the album version right now. So the beginning is kind of long, because it's the end of whatever the last song was in the album. Um... Let's see, I'm trying to drink a lot of water. I had about two glasses of milk today. I'm still trying to resuscitate my old phone. And let's see, Saturday I was on there and it was acting stupid. And it's been doing that for like a month. And they're sending me, Apple is sending me a new phone. But it's supposed to be here tomorrow, I hope. So I can sync everything, hopefully, by the weekend. And I'll be happy again. It's I mean, I have my Peter here, my my iPad, and it's right next to me. But my phone is like my life. You know, like my music's on there, and then my apps. You know, I mean, it sits on my MacBook and my iPad. You know, but there's Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Flickr, YouTube. Um. Yeah. Lately, I'm just watching like Christmas hauls and stuff, and of course, like I said, then I want to go buy stuff, you know. But I only have like 20 bucks, and that's not enough unless I stay in the cheap section of Ulta and not go to, you know, the Sephora stuff. But they don't carry Bite Beauty and Nars and Cap. Well, I don't think they carry Cap on D, but I wish they carry those things because Ulta. They probably make, I don't know how much money they, those two stores combined make in makeup. It's like, you know, a zillion dollars a year, probably. I mean, there's ones in every city. There's Chicago, New York. I mean, that's a, the one in New York is in Times Square. It's, you know, huge. Like, the Forever 21 in Chicago, there's two of them. And Express in Chicago is huge, too. The one in... Michigan Avenue, not the one, not the ones in Water Tower Place, which are, are great, but it's kind of funny. I bought something there, Express, and then I came home and I went shopping here at my Express in Iowa, and they had the same thing. So I was like, twinsies. You know. Now I'm just am looking for something to wear for Thanksgiving. Because uh, I don't have anything besides my red lipstick. That's more Christmas stuff, you know. I think I, I found my look for Halloween and I mean it was 
I was doing Gwen Stefani and the lips and neutral eyes. I was looking at a bunch of pictures of her eye looks from the voice and stuff, and I need to remember to watch that in less than an hour. <sighs> um, and dancing, too. What else do I like? Oh. Speaking of dancing, Duck Dynasty's Sadie is on there, and it's a funny show, and they're from Louisiana. I'm a big Rollins fan, and I've been there four times, and my friend lives near Jackson now, which is, I've seen her where she lives, and she lives with three other girls now, instead of with her, her mom and stepdad, which are great, they are great people, but she lives in a small town, too, and it's, there's nothing there, and I don't blame her for wanting to live there. I tried to live on my own back in February and March, and it didn't work, and there was drama, and, and you know, by St. Patty's Day, I was like, I'm, I want to get out of here badly. And now I'm just, I spend like, you know, half my day in my, you know, making these, these videos on here. I need a job, seriously. I mean, I want to work at Ulta, yeah. I mean, makeup city and be camping out there to get stuff. I mean, I mean, at least Ulta carries the eyeliner that I want just by benefit, and I also like to try the mascara too. Um, I wish I carried. And there's a eyeshadow that I want to get too. That's another thing on my humongous list. You guys should see my Sephora wish list. It's huge. I mean, it's. It's nuts. But can I say I like stuff? Okay. And sorry, I'm on Amazon right now. I just wonder if anybody here can. I think filming this video live would be interesting. Um, adding some things to my Amazon wish list. Oh, fudge. Okay, it's, there's about, I don't know, a whole ton of stuff that I would like, like Mary Poppins and, um, what's that movie called? Well, that has the Walt Disney one, Saving Mr. Banks, that's what it is. I saw that. It was great, but sad and. Would you like some pistachio ice cream before I eat it all? Huh? I just am out of control now with ice cream. I never used to be that way. Look at this. Five, ten.